from tracking your celebrity crush or figuring out the movie reviews from critics and fans, IMDb is well known worldwide. That's why in this video, we're going to use our research and wonder to look at the top 10 movies of 2021. So let's just hop right in and see what made it on our list. Before we get started, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. Number 10, Free Guy. Starting off with Free Guy at our number 10 spot, this film is about a sentient game character that changes the course of the real world. A mixture of action, adventure, comedy, and sci-fi, this movie is filled with loads of memorable moments. Starring Ryan Reynolds as The Guy, where he learns of his existence and begins to stir the pot when he falls in love with a human player known as Millie, who's played by Jodie Corner. With a total of 7.2 out of 10 with 278,000 votes and ranked as number 52 out of 100 of the most popular movies, it is well deserving to be on this list. Number 9. The Suicide Squad Diving into number 9 on our list is The Suicide Squad. IMDb scores it at a 7.2 out of 10 with 301,000 votes. This movie delves into Harley Quinn, Bloodsport, and Peacemaker as they are left on a remote island filled with enemies. Starring Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn, Idris Elba as Bloodsport, and John Cena as Peacemaker, this film follows their character as they navigate the islands of Corto Maltese. An action adventure movie that gives hints of comedy as they are tasked as they traverse the island. Nothing like cheering for your favorite anti-heroes. Number 8. Don't Look Up At number 8 on our list is Don't Look Up. This Netflix gem has many notable actors that took part in the movie about warning mankind of the world's end. But it is not working out. Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence play the parts of Dr. Mendy and Kate, who discover a mountain-sized comet on a path for a direct collision towards Earth. It's up to them to make an impactful media tour to an uncaring society. It scores a 7.2 out of 10 with 422,000 votes on IMDb. A comedic movie about a hilarious annoyance to get society to care more than just their social media obsession. It's also ironic because it could actually happen, but then again, is it really funny if a cataclysmic event like this can destroy humankind? Don't Look Up gives a modern take on the popular idiom, a boy who cried wolf. Watch this comedic yet serious and believable take on how just important it is to believe warnings from professionals, and the interactions between society and those in the scientific community. Number 7. Nobody Situating itself at the number 7 spot is the movie Nobody. It scores a 7.4 out of 10 with 202 votes from IMDb. The premise of the movie is about two thieves who break into Hutch Mansell's suburban home, played by Better Call Saul lead actor Bob Odenkirk, and he fails to defend himself or his family. Hutch, who is a normal family man, is docile, overlooked, and underappreciated. His wife and son are utterly disappointed by his lack of action and strike a different pace for Hutch, unlocking a dark side within him and his secrets. An introspective struggle and a thriller against a bloody war against the Russians. It's no wonder this unique cinematic thriller is ranked number 7 on our list. Nobody is a love letter to all the nobodies who should ever be underestimated. Number 6. Cruella Jumping to our number 6 spot is Cruella, a movie with a score of 7.4 out of 10, ranked 166 in IMD Moves popular movie list, a live action prequel to 101 Dalmatians, about one of Disney's nastiest villains. Cruella DeVille, played by Emma Stone, who's best known for her roles in La La Land and The Amazing Spider-Man, an adventure comedy on young Cruella's journey to become the Cruella we all know and love, to hate. She starts off as Estelle, with the dream of becoming a fashion designer, but has no way up as she becomes orphaned at the age of 12. Estella makes her way to build a formidable career that takes her to the rich and famous, but questions if this is really the life for her. The birth of an anti-hero is born. Cruella ties in several plot points from previous 101 Dalmatian movies, and director Lila Nashuler adds originality to this Disney classic. Number 5. No Time to Die James Bond never dies, and so does this epic movie franchise. A great way to start off with the top 5 in our IMDb list. James Bond, played by the famous Daniel Craig, was supposed to be retired and enjoying a quiet life. But life had other plans, and his friends from the CIA had to come back and ask for help. His mission back from retirement is to save a kidnapped scientist. Seems easy, but the mission unfolds and turns out to be one with a villain who has a hand in dangerous tech. Voted at a 7.4 out of 10 and ranked 30 out of 100 on IMDb, it is a real treat for Bond fans of all ages. As a side note, this may have been Daniel Craig's last movie, so enjoy this thriller with the legendary British actor while you can. 
Number four, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. At number four is a much talked about movie in the Asian community, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Voted 7.5 out of 10 and ranked 51 on IMDb, this Marvel movie focused on an Asian cast, where our hero, Shang-Chi, played by Simu Li, is confronted with the tragic beginning of being forced into the gruesome business with his father, Wenwu. Of course, just like any child of a domineering, forceful parent, the innate reaction is to run away and change your name to Sean. But Shang-Chi does not hide for long, as he must confront his past and defeat his father and the mysteries of the Ten Rings organization. A pinnacle point for diversity in Marvel, as we see it dives into more cultures and heroes of all kinds. Shang-Chi breaks barriers, and be sure to watch this movie for all the Easter eggs and how it fits in with the rest of the Marvel movie franchise. Number three. Zack Snyder's Justice League. Another hero movie that comes into our top five, sitting comfortably at number three, ranked 190th in popularity, and rated an 8.1 out of 10 in IMDb, which is by far the highest score on our list so far, is Zack Snyder's Justice League. This movie is set after the fall of Superman, played by Henry Cavill. The world seemed like it was at an end until Bruce Wayne, who's played by Ben Affleck, comes up with a plan to assemble a whole team of metahumans to take Superman's place. The Justice League is born to prevent the catastrophic events that would ensue and possibly destroy the Earth. The issues arise if the Justice League can overcome from their past traumas to become the team the world needs, or will they be stuck fighting themselves? A great movie for those who want a fresh look at the Justice League. Number 2. Dune Now coming in at our number 2 spot is Dune, which is a sci-fi novel adapted into a movie. On IMDb, it is rated an 8.1 out of 10 and ranks number 17 out of 100 movies. Actors Timothy Chalamet, Zendaya, and Jason Momoa brought Dune quite a bit of attention when it first came out. It's about a young gifted boy who must travel to another planet to secure his family's and people's future. This planet is full of danger, but the resources are what make the main character's journey worth it. This movie explores conflict related to the lack of resources for their people and planet. Regarded by critics as the best cinematic and best graphics in a movie in 2021, finding the most vital element in the galaxy was never this entertaining. A mind-boggling yet entrancing movie of a futuristic perspective on old school problems. Number one. At the number one spot on our list is, you guessed it, Spider-Man No Way Home. With a rating of 8.7 and ranked four on the IMDB list, it's no surprise as to why it's ranked so high. It's a sequel to Spider-Man Homecoming and Spider-Man Far From Home which already makes it a staple in Marvel movies. The hype was all there for the release, especially wondering if Tom Holland, the actor for Spider-Man, would once again accidentally spoil just a little bit of the movie. And let's not forget it's the first ever to reveal Peter Parker's identity. From a beloved hero to a mess up, we see Spider-Man try to fix the balance of the universe and his life as a senior in high school, trying to get into college, joined by his best friends and familiar faces of past Spider-Man movies. The acting, the plot, and the overall nostalgia may have been the best Marvel movie created to this date. That's it guys. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.